guys, today we're joined by Christiane and Lucky for some body balance. Let's get into it. I'm Bernay Fonsel and this is Five Colour Fitness. Welcome to the South African Safari edition of Five Colour Fitness. I'm Christy and this is my awesome partner, Lucky. And I hope you guys are ready for an amazing full body workout today. So yes. yeah, join us in warming up. So the next warm-up exercise, we're going to do a chest opener and a butt kick at the same time. We're doing dynamic stretches to get ready for one awesome workout. Yep. So the sure. next warm-up exercise will be our adductor stretches. So we're going to go side to side. Make sure you stretch those legs. Yes, you should feel the stretch into the groin. Well done. Amazing. Next one, we're going to go onto the mat, okay. giving yourself some stability, feeling a nice calf stretch. That's amazing, those calf openers. We're going to do, be doing a little bit of jumping, so get ready and get excited. Yep. Well done. Next one, we're going to stand up and stretch. We're going to hug that knee. Well done. Make sure you maintain your balance. Yes. And you don't fall over. Another glute stretch. Gonna do a nice figure sure, of four. I think that needs some yoga. Can I do that? <laughs> <laughs> we try. <laughs> if you can do it, if you can go that deep, just, you know, just yes. a little or bit. Even hold onto a chair and see what you can do. Otherwise, yeah. you can just continue with these just ones. Just slowly push it down. You know, you don't have to. Because the main point of this is to stretch that glute, that left or right glute. So yeah, do what you can and hold on to something. I'm excited for I'm this excited. workout. I'm excited. It's a three circuit workout and we're going to start with the first exercise. It's a squat jump, sidewalk and, and squat jump. If you can do that, just do this. Nice. Just make sure you're on your toes. And an intermediate version would be onto your toes, yes. And there we go. That's wonderful. Keep it up. So guys, I hope you're working already with us and you should feel those leg bends. Yes. Otherwise, on those toes. Well done. Keep it up. We're going to have an active rest now, so straight into it. Active rest. Let's do this. That's perfect. So you can do these boxer shuffles, or you can just step it out, you know, yeah. if you don't want to do high impact stuff, you know. Make just it work for you. You can even just tap behind you. Exactly. Move around, have fun. Well Move done. to the beat of yeah. the workout. <laughs> All right, so straight into our lunge back kick. So while we're doing this, we are focusing on straight hips and knee in line with the foot. Keep As you can see, act. I'm doing the regression. You don't have to do the kick. You can just well do uh, lunges because you might not have the balance to be on one leg. Yes. So yeah. Next side, other side. And if you're doing the regression, just keep going. There's no sides here. We're working both sides it up. simultaneously. That's beautiful, yes. All right. Active race, let's do this. You can tap behind you. Tap, tap. Well done. Sure, we're getting into it, eh? Yes. How are you feeling? I'm enjoying this full and body workout so far. I hope they're enjoying it as well. Let's, let's go. go into our pike kick. So, this is it. We're keeping our back straight. Regression. Shoulder blades tight against the chest. Well done. Yeah, that's a good regression there. And Make sure you squeeze. Change those sides. Glutes. Well done. So while we're doing this, we're really trying not to rotate the torso. We're keeping the hips parallel with the ground. That's perfect and straight into our active rest. Back on the floor. Well done. Wow. Feels amazing. It is. If you want to add the intensity on your active rest, I mean, let's go. You can do this. Uh, Loving it. And you don't call fun. him the beast for nothing. <laughs> eh? I'm going to take a sip of water. Yeah, this is while the While he's doing his team. active rest. <laughs> yes, team beast. I hope you're also getting tired. Heart rate up. So this is just supposed to be fun. So enjoy it while you're doing it, okay? So let's go into the straight into the next one. We're in our reverse plank, knee up. So while we're doing this, we're keeping a nice active core and Lucky's gonna show us the regression. The re regression, yeah. I'm doing less work today, <laughs> but you know what? As, as long as you're moving, that's perfect. 
So one thing I'm focusing on here is not allowing my hips to rotate. So it's so easy to fall and uh, not activate your glutes well enough. So try and focus on that and I can while you're doing it. And I can my arms on this, eh? Yes. Full body workout, body balance. That's amazing. <laughs> well done, everyone. Keep it up. Let's do this. Almost there, guys. Keep it going. Keep it there. And straight into our active rest. So do something that's fun for you. You can tap behind you or to the side. Yep. Let's do this. Or like me, Muhammad Ali, boxer shuffles. <laughs> so let's go. <laughs> Loving it. Well done, everybody. So when I speak about activating the core, we're thinking about pulling the hip bones toward each other yep. and belly button toward the spine. Yeah. And guys, remember, always breathing while you're doing this. Yes. So the next one, going straight into our bridge march. So activate that core and we're marching. Same multiply, hips don't tilt as you lift your knee. Well you done. Can, you can just do bridges for this one. Just up and down. Perfect. Keep it up. And enjoy the workout. Another thing that really helps to activate that core is to breathe out on exertion. So it's... Yep. So make Keep sure there's a rhythm to your breathing. Well done. Almost back to active rest. Keep those glutes burning. Oh. You can do this. I hope you're enjoying this bridge march. Can you feel those glutes burning? I can feel them. Wonderful, Lucky. And I hope you guys can too. Almost time for active rest. Let's go straight into it. Active rest. Okay, back to the feet. Onto your Let's toes. Go. All right, going into the next one, guys. We're doing our body balance workout and we're gonna be doing a hovering hip extension. So you're going into your hovering all fours. You're extending that hip and you feel that glute burn. And your regression. Exactly. Lucky, so you're, you're on your so knees well. and you're just moving your legs. So a reminder here, often people tend to fall with their neck and yeah. the thoracic spine. So we want to really lift it up nicely. Okay, that's so, Beautiful, so that's beautiful form, Lucky. Keep it up. And make sure your arms are right underneath your chest. Yes. You're supporting your whole body. Well done. And keeping those shoulder blades tight against the chest. And for these amazing workouts, guys, tune in Monday, Thursdays, and Saturdays to work out with us. 5 p.m. Exactly. It's All right, yeah. time for active rest. Loving this. How cool is this? It's amazing. Do I let think. us know if you're enjoying this. Yep. I'm sure you are, because this is a very beastly <laughs> team. Exactly. Okay, and so keep it up. And also tag us at FHA underscore fitness health active, at christianne.fit, and... Lucky like Fuzzy. All right. And we'll us. And straight into the next round, we're going to be doing a squat jump and side squat, walk, and jump. Okay, that's perfect. Well done. So the intermediate version would be onto your toes. Otherwise, you can just do a normal side walk. And Keep make it sure up. the lateral walk, you're on the floor. You're like, you're low, as low as you can, and then that jump. Perfect, well done. And keeping the knees behind the toes as you squat. So we try and focus on that form while we're doing this. That's perfect. Use your arms to balance and make sure there is no clutch around you. You want to have enough space. And active rest. Oh. Just on the spot. Guys, active rest, that's up to you. That's your call. You decide what you want to do yes. as long as you move. Keep it up. Take a sip of water. Remember to breathe. Yep. And because this is body balance, yeah. we're also focusing on holistic. We're thinking about our breathing pattern. Yep. We're thinking about our core. And next exercise, backward lunge with a kick. So That's we're fair. keeping our form. Well done. Oh, stick to one leg. Yes, one Guys, side first. Regression, you just do this. Perfect. And maintain your balance. And while you're doing it, focusing on your body awareness. So we are thinking of those hips. Yep. Are they falling? Are they rotating? Yeah. And focus on pushing out those glutes and change sides. It's perfect. <laughs> well done. 
And if you're really on a beginner's level, that's perfect. You can just tap in front of you and tap behind you. Like I'm keeping doing. your balance. So I'm a beginner right now, so work out Loving with me. <laughs> I still feel those quads though, those legs. Yes, you will. So yeah, you still feel the workout and just have fun. Into our active rest. Oh, Take a breather. I've been waiting for that active rest. <laughs> that was damn. Well done. Next one, we're really focusing on that core. It is a pike kick. While you kick up, we're trying not to curve the lumbar spine. So keeping the spine straight and using the hammers and the glutes to move that hip. Well done. And if you're doing the regression, you're on your knees, making sure you can, uh, those glutes are working. Beautiful. Change that. So you're kicking as far as you can. We are only against ourselves. Yep. Just a fun. Do you feel those shoulders burning? <laughs> <laughs> and that core. And those glutes. Yes. That's the, that's the point. This is a holistic experience, like workout experience. We are focusing on body balance. So making sure all muscles are engaged and we're having fun. Are you enjoying this active rest? I'm enjoying the active rest. That's my favorite part of the workout. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Keep that energy up there, guys. Yep. You're doing so well. All right. Next one. Backward plank, knee up. So once again, we are focusing on that active core, keeping the glutes active, yep. hip bones toward each other, belly button toward the spine, and feel those glutes burning, arms, triceps, what do you feel? Lucky. I feel everything, triceps especially. Okay, good. Triceps are burning. <laughs> well done. So Ooh. also focusing, that, focusing on our form here that our hips are not tilting yep. as we lift. So we keep those this is glutes a, engaged. It's an anti-rotational movement, so try to not rotate yes. and breathe. Keep it up. Come, last few. This is Let's a long this. 30 seconds, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and active rest, are you ready? I'm ready. He's always ready for active rest. <laughs> so next exercise, we're gonna do our backward bridge walkout. So it's either marching, or if you really wanna make it challenging for yourself, you can walk out and change your lever length. So make it more challenging by stepping further away from your butt. Then you feel and your hammies. If you're with me, you're just doing this. Glute bridges. Well and reminder to focus on those hips. Are they rotating or are they staying parallel to the ground? Keep it up. Do you feel oh. those glutes? Hammies. Yep. I Love feel you. everything, those glutes. And well make done. sure your breathing is in line with your movement. So when I move up, that's when I breathe out. Yes. It makes it easier. Beautiful. And active rest. Let's go back into it. Loving this. Let's turn the heat up. High knees if you can. Yes, that's a let's challenge. do this. <laughs> Just one quick tip while I'm speaking about core, and that is there are two little muscles running up either side of the spine. Yep. If you zip them up yeah. and you think about them, you are giving yourself a really effective core activation. So let's try that yeah. with our next exercise. Next exercise, we're in a hovering hip extension like this. And again, we are focusing on not rotating. So try not to rotate or lift the hip. Well done. That's perfect. Beautiful, lucky, nice regression there. And another thing to focus on here, to make sure that you're not falling in that thoracic spine. Yep. Lift yep. it up, All long neck, up. and breathe. Keep it up. Long neck like a giraffe, guys. This is a safari edition yes. of the Five Color Fitness Show. And active rest. Wow, I'm loving this. Are you loving it? I, I Let sure, us know. I sure am loving it. I mean, the sweat tells it all. Let's have fun. <laughs> Let's keep it up. Enjoy this active rest because we have our third round of our South African Safari exercise session for Five Color Fitness. Remember to hashtag Five Color Fitness yep. and keep tagging us too. We would love to see what you, how you guys are doing. When you're working out with us, check those snaps, post those stories. Yes. Let's see how you're doing. What's keep it up. Let's, Let's do this. So it's squat, side, squat, and jump if you can. Let's go guys. Make Beautiful. sure you keep low when you're doing that lateral walk. Yes. And all the way up using your arms to balance. 
So this is our last round. We can do this. Keep it up. If you're losing form, just change your movement a bit. You can do a quarter squat walk. Just keep you can moving. See, I've turned my workout all the way to level five. There's no lockdown here. Yes. <laughs> but that's because he's a beast. <laughs> keep that's it up. fun, guys. And active rest. Enjoy yourself. Change it up a bit. Just keep yourself moving. Breathing. Well done. Beautiful. So often we are over activating our quads. Most people do. So when we're doing our next one, you can go straight into it. It's our lunge kick. Yeah. We want to focus on that glute activation yep. and feel the hammies burn. So sit backwards. And, and make sure you balance. We can go straight into it. <laughs> he had a bit of extra active rest there. I was enjoying the active rest. Remember, that's my favorite part. So yeah, don't be like me, guys. Tune in, make sure you balance the body out. Yes. Do all the workouts with us but and what, you're fine. Whatever he does, it looks good. So you can just do whatever. <laughs> and other side, lunging Ooh. back and kicking. If you can't kick up, that's perfect. You can kick to where you can. Yeah. That would be the intermediate version. Or we're doing what Lucky's doing, keeping it up. Make sure you maintain your balance if you're doing what Christy Ann is doing, because once you one leg up in the air, it's, yeah, it's quite hectic to maintain that balance. Nice. Time for active rest. Let's go. <laughs> are you feeling it like I am? I am feeling it. And I hope you guys are feeling it as well. If you want to stop and drink some water, do just that. Well done. But you know what? Keep going. Yes. Let's keep it up. Keep that energy there, everybody. Four more exercises. Then we're done. Looking forward to it. Yes. Let's go. Next one. Pike. Kick. So once again, thinking about that form. Hands directly under the shoulder. Yep. Trying not to curve the lumbar spine. I'm gonna go and do this regression with Lucky now. <laughs> <laughs> so if you haven't Let changed me do sides, that. you can change sides. The other yes, one. Lucky. Woo. I'm loving this. Now I'm feeling it. <laughs> so if you don't have enough range in your hip, you can bend the knee as you do it. Otherwise, yeah. we can kick with a straight knee. Keep yeah. it up. I'm not used to yoga, guys. I'm gonna keep my legs bent. <laughs> Loving it. But as you can see, I'm sweating, which means I'm working as well. But that's a, like a dynamic stretch. So you're working on your range of motion while you're exercising. Yep. Keep it up. Enjoy the active rest. Breathe in, breathe out, and welcome to the Five Color Fitness Safari Edition. Best team ever. Best team ever. <laughs> Join us Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays to get the sweats on. Yes, you'll love it. 5 p.m. <laughs> exactly. Let's do this. Next one, reverse plank, knee up. Straight into it. So, in your reverse plank, focusing on that form. Nice long neck. Shoulder blades tight against the chest. Yep. Well done. Regression. Just what? stick with me. Lucky is You'll doing. Those triceps. You've got to focus on your core quite a lot here because you might be feeling yeah. a bulge here, especially pregnant postpartum ladies. You'd rather do an even, even, even easier regression, and that would be just either yeah. walking like our other exercise or just holding it like that. Nice. And either way, you're going to feel it, guys, because what, as long as you're moving, You'll be sweating. Yes, well done. <laughs> Loving this. Keep moving. We're almost there. We're Don't almost give there. up now. Stay with <laughs> us. We're also tired, okay? <laughs> so keep it up. Next one. We're going into our bridge and we're walking out or just marching it out like this. But those that are on advanced level, challenge yourself. Change your lever legs. Yeah. Step it out. Well done. And if you're doing the regression, stick with me. Just do those glute bridges. Make sure you go all the way up. Feel those glutes before you go down. Yes, and we don't want to feel it in our lumbar spine. So if you feel something in the back, change it out or just do your normal static bridge for yep. 30 seconds. But we passed 30 seconds already, so we can <laughs> go straight so. into Let's get to our the active rest. rest. Come, stay with us, guys. 
You can do this. Feeling strong? Feeling strong. Yes. And ready for it. Come team FHA. Yep. Loving this five color fitness. Feeling like a beast right now. Yes. Guys, we are at Aquila Safari's Game Reserve. They are beasts out here. They are lions and elephants and stuff. <laughs> so I feel like I'm at home, you know what I'm saying? Let's Loving go. It. And hip extension. Let's do this. So in your hovering position, keeping that core active, zipping up that multi I spoke about, breathing out on exertion, keeping those shoulder blades tight against your chest. Well done. Regression on your knees like Lucky. Yep. Perfect. Take it easy. And when we're doing this, we really need to focus again on oh, not lifting yeah, exactly. the hip. So this is the difference. This is the right one. And the other thing is not to curve that lumbar spine. If you're using momentum, you're cheating. So exactly. just keep so that. As you can notice, there's extension. a slight pause at the top because you need to make sure Beautiful. those glutes. I can see they're burning. <laughs> and right now I'm just trying to go to the active well rest again. <laughs> but we finished. We're going to cool down now. Well done, everybody. That's amazing. So first cool down Bring exercise. Bring your water, guys. You end it. Yes, you're allowed to. You mm. deserve it. <laughs> All right, so we're going to keep that back straight. Our workout hasn't really ended now because we want to keep that core active. Some people like to stretch like that. And then you're not really stretching. So yep. keep that nice neutral spine. And One. I know this position is hard to maintain balance, so hold on to something. Yes. Because the main point is working this glutes, you know. Perfect. There's no shame in doing that. So I say I'm out of breath and I hope you are feeling the same. <laughs> you can change sides. So again, more the stretch and then posteriorly tilt. Well done. And another great tip for feeling a nice hip flexor and quad stretch would be to find the stretch with the neutral spine and then further posteriorly tilt your pelvis. So I don't know if you see that movement like that. Good. So then you feel a more intense stretch. Well done. And don't forget to breathe, guys. Yes. <laughs> Next one. We're going to stretch those calf muscles. So now it's a static stretch, so we don't have to alternate. We can just start one side, feel the heel, touch the mat if you can. Well done. And then you can change to a bent knee for the soleus muscle, which is also part of your calf muscle. And you're trying to push that foot on the ground to feel those arms. Yes, change sides. Straight knee first. Gastrox must be stretching now. Yep. All the way up and bend the knee for soleus. Well done. Next one, we're gonna feel a nice hip stretch now. So for those that battled with that pike kick, this is a good one to do. Most people sitting in front of a computer every day actually need to do this stretch to open up anteriorly. Exactly, maintain your posture. You need yes. to make sure that you're upright, you're not leaning forward, you're not leaning too back. Yes. No hyper extension, you're just straight forward. Yeah, and most people, often people do yeah, that they, without they realizing. Extend, yeah. They extend in the lumbar spine, so good. And other side. And you can add to that stretch. You can even add a bit of side flexion. Yep. And you'll feel it in the side and in the other. Well done. That was fun, hey? That was fun, guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Yeah. We want to see those videos, the snaps of you sweating as much as I am. Last one. And well done, everybody. You've done so well. You can be proud of yourself. I've loved this with you and this awesome beast partner of mine. It's been amazing. Yeah. Remember to hashtag 5 Color Fitness and tag us at FHA underscore Fitness Health Active and Christy and Fit and Lucky Fuzzy. And see you guys every Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 5 p.m. It's been fun. It has. Bye. Bye, everyone. Now, who wouldn't want those two in their living rooms? Guys, thank you for that workout. It was pretty amazing. Guys, remember, there's five different exercise routines that you can choose from, right in the comfort of your own living room. That's it from us for today. Thank you for joining us. Until next time, stay fit, stay healthy, stay active.